Hello and welcome to another show and tell. Before anything, if you like this channel, do subscribe. So like I said, welcome to another show and tell, which is the uh, unboxing of Silver Bayonet, the first team in Vietnam, 1965, from 2016. The remastered uh, and uh, uh, updated graphically and uh, as uh, as I've uh, managed to uh, I don't know scheme some uh, forums uh, rule wise of that game, the Silver Bayonet, the first in Vietnam, 1965, both from GMT Games, this one from 1990. I was on the fence with this one. It was on my radar for quite some time. Um, I didn't know if I should buy it or not. Not because uh, it's not good or something like that, but I already had this one. I got this one on the secondary market for a very low price. It was a steal and I had to buy it. Um, but given that this one is actually this one, but with updated components and stuff like that, maybe rules. As, and uh, <laughs> the price uh, wasn't uh, just right for uh, for me. I delayed buying it. But I've seen it stand on the virtual shelf uh, for some time. And uh, when the time was right and it was very, very... Uh, it was a sizable uh, discount. I jumped on the occasion. Maybe just to put them in, a, in a, I don't know, in close parallel. So yeah, Silver Bennett, first time in Vietnam. It says the uh, 25th anniversary edition. It has quite a, a weight to it compared to the other one. Let's see. Compare the, the two boxes. Uh, well, the older one, oh, it, they're quite the same. Um, the older one had a little defect. I hastily uh, repaired it. I don't mind. I'm not a, a purist regarding uh, boxes or stuff like that. The weight is significantly significantly different. This is very light. This is very heavy. Um, I like the the image on this one. Uh, you can see you, they uh, uh, used the the old uh, helicopter uh, gunship um, attack on that st uh, stylized there. But I kind of like this one better from the uh, point of view of colors and uh, layout and stuff like that. Uh, but of course the the picture is is better here than than there. So um, there there's there are pros and cons for the both of them. So let's see what we have in uh, in each of them. Well, uh, if you don't know, um, I really don't know uh, what we have in the the right one. Um, these were uh, added later, so these are. Uh, hardware store um, counter holder. Um, I don't know if uh, originally there were Ziploc bags in, in this one, maybe the, f the former owner put them in, perhaps. But uh, there are uh, Ziploc bags in, in uh, this one, which is always great. Um, the rules, the rules in uh, the first one are uh, uh, all school type, all text rules. I don't have uh, any problem with that. Uh, I look back to those uh, times. Um, 
not with nostalgia because I, I wasn't really around or if I was around in 1990 I was around but I was very very small and uh, didn't even know that there were uh, historical war games uh, back then uh, but as I see history now in the 70s, 80s, I wasn't around in the 70s I look uh, uh, with amazement back to that period and I um, I made a few game print and play games with the uh, files that I found uh, around and I really like the the I don't know the the feel of the of the era so um, of course colors are good uh, pictures are good the rule book uh, the new rule book of course is uh, the standard GMT rule book very Wittgensteinian um, clearly laid out and with uh, with uh, color uh, pictures and uh, uh, extended examples of play with uh, colorful uh, and very nice pictures and very very finely uh, edited and uh, the layout is uh, is very nice so the rules in in the old one if you can see there are 20 pages the uh, the new the new one has 40 pages well of course uh, with uh, examples of play and, uh, uh, and stuff like that um, then we have in the new one we have a battle board Some player aids, the FWA player aid card. PAVN hidden movement aid. Then uh, standard sequence of play with crib notes. Uh, two pieces of that. So two. Uh, copies of that then we have uh, some uh, scenarios breaking the siege Daco operation all the way the lure and the ambush play mech operation all the way first brigade um, the Drang river valley Operation Silver Bayonet 1 Into the Valley So there are a lot of uh, Campaign games um, A lot of uh, scenarios and uh, and uh, campaigns um, Of course you have them in the rule book as well In the old one But you, you don't really uh, have those uh, very uh, I don't know aesthetically pleasing <laughs> uh, in an aesthetically pleasing way like that you see you have uh, scenarios like these third brigade or uh, scenario 11 campaign game so there are uh, at least a part of those uh, in the in the original one um, the original one has uh, three player aid stuff or displays NVA hidden units with Cambodia abstracted here and uh, uh, a grid over here the advanced game sequence of play and uh, some other stuff Observation, transport, gunship rocket, uh, airport track over here, airport die roll, and units at play cool. So, um, less uh, of these here. Um, not to uh, forget that uh, the new one has uh, on uh, extended. Uh, uh, player aid, double, uh, dub, uh, folded two uh, uh, pieces of it, two copies of it, 
with everything. Broken arrow, air, point, air points, air defense, maneuver combat table, assault combat table, bombardment support table, combat refusal, and the DC the terrain effect chart. Um, which the old one had uh, mostly on the map. And uh, again, I had no problem with that, and I had no had no problem with the map, even though uh, sometimes uh, it was rather hard to read. But I love the old school type of map. Uh, of course, in 1919, it was probably a new school type of map, but uh, really like this as well as well. So. Um, this is for the old, now let's see the new. The new has uh, a 10 sided die uh, as well. Um, leave those here and look at the map, and then we'll see the counter. Let's see. The proverbial ziplock bag for the map. The map is mounted. And it's uh, and it's a beautiful, beautiful map. Of course, you see the difference is not negligible. It's a beautiful map. With less of uh, uh, information regarding rules here except for the terrain effect chart and the game information track all the other stuff are put in uh, in uh, the uh, displays and the aids and uh, the other stuff so yeah very thick good quality mounted board it really makes a difference um, then we have some It's a marching song, national anthem of Vietnam. So these are some sort of uh, screens, and maybe I don't know. Some posters, maybe. Look, they look like some sort of screens. And then on the uh, first cavalry division screen, we have Gary Owen. That's the marching song of the Seventh Cavalry. The name of the tune has become a part of the regiment. As the, as the story goes, it was the last song played for Custer's men as they left General Terry's column at the Powder River. So, it's linked to Custer's last stand. Very nice quality. And then we have the counters which are usual uh, medium thickness, very good quality counters the GMT has uh, uh, used us so got, uh, got us used to in the last years they uh, they really uh, fall out uh, rather quickly from here so there will there will be no problem removing them you have a counter for colonel lieutenant colonel moore lieutenant colonel moore moore have one and a half sheets of counters for the new one and uh, in for the old one you have this uh, uh, again uh, colorful counters it's printed in a single color, which is black. They were functional, they are functional, I don't have problem with them. But uh, many of them are uh, miscentered, uh, which again I don't, <laughs> I don't have problem with. But of course it's really, really nice.
to uh, play with uh, crisp, well centered counters, stuff like that. So, uh, all in all, this is uh, uh, the two, uh, the old and the new, <laughs> the two copies of the game. Um, I really enjoyed back when the uh, the film We Were Soldiers um, was uh, launched, and uh, that was the main driver for my uh, buying this one. That and <laughs> the fact that it was a bargain, and uh, I didn't uh, really have many Vietnam uh, War uh, games back when I uh, got this. Uh, but main driver was that I that I uh, liked I really liked the movie it really is a poignant a movie uh, we were soldiers that depicts uh, part of what's going on here uh, and that uh, Lieutenant uh, Colonel Moore was uh, one of the protagonists of uh, the the battles uh, in this uh, in this uh, game, um, like I said, I was on offense with this, but I really, uh, I'm really happy that I <laughs> uh, jumped on the occasion. Eventually, I jumped. <laughs> I, uh, for me, it's a rather uh, unusual thing to mull over for maybe, but the better part of one week, if I should buy a game or not. But this this one with uh, the opportunities that it uh, uh, brought the uh, low price and uh, the fact that uh, it could uh, update the experience, which was very nice playing this. Um, um, so yeah, I'm happy that uh, this is part of uh, my collection. Um, I I will try to play them uh, in parallel or alternatively uh, scenario by scenario campaign by campaign when I have the time and uh, who knows maybe even post an uh, after an action report or something like that well thank you for watching uh, goodbye